Lubrication. 1. Oil accumulation in the cylinders of an inverted inline engine and in the lower cylinders of a radial engine is normally reduced or prevented by extended cylinder skirts. 2. At cruise RPM, some oil will flow through the relief valve of a gear type engine oil pump. This is normal as the relief valve is set at a pressure which is lower than the pressure pump capabilities. 3. After making a welded repair to a pressurized type turbine engine oil tank, the tank should be pressure checked to not less than 5 pounds per square inch plus the maximum operating pressure of the tank. 2. In most turbine engine oil tanks, a slight pressurization of the tank is desired to ensure a positive flow of oil. Regarding the above statements, only number 2 is true. 4. The engine oil temperature regulator is usually located between which of the following on a dry sump reciprocating engine? The scavenger pump outlet and the oil storage tank. 5. Which of these characteristics is desirable in turbine engine oil? High flash point. 6. Low oil pressure can be detrimental to the internal engine components. However, high oil pressure should be limited to the engine manufacturer's recommendations. 7. In order to relieve excessive pump pressure in an engine's internal oil system, most engines are equipped with a relief valve. 8. In a jet engine which uses a fuel oil heat exchanger, the oil temperature is controlled by a thermostatic valve that regulates the flow of oil through the heat exchanger. 9. Which of the following lubrication system components is never located between the pressure pump and the engine pressure system? Fuel line for oil dilution system. 10. Lubricating oils with high viscosity index ratings are oils in which the viscosity does not vary much with temperature change. 11. What is the primary purpose of changing aircraft engine lubricating oils at predetermined periods? The oil becomes contaminated with moisture, acids, and finely divided suspended solid particles. 12. What is the primary purpose of the hopper located in the oil supply tank of some dry sump engine installations? To reduce the time required to warm the oil to operating temperatures. 13. The purpose of the flow control valve in a reciprocating engine oil system is to direct oil through or around the oil cooler. 14. The time in seconds required for exactly 60 cubic centimeters of oil to flow through an accurately calibrated orifice at a specific temperature is recorded as a measurement of the oil's viscosity. 15. As a general rule, the mixture setting on a reciprocating engine operating at or near takeoff power that provides the best cooling is full rich. 16. As a general rule, a small amount of small fuzzy particles or gray metallic paste on a turbine engine magnetic chip detector is considered to be the result of normal wear. 17. The valve assemblies of opposed reciprocating engines are lubricated by means of a pressure system. 18. Where are sludge chambers, when used in aircraft engine lubrication systems, usually located? In the crankshaft throws. 19. Where is the oil temperature bulb located on a dry sump reciprocating engine? Oil inlet line. 20. Which of the following factors helps determine the proper grade of oil to use in a particular engine? Operating speeds of bearings. 21. In which of the following situations will the oil cooler automatic bypass valve be open the greatest amount? Engine oil below normal operating temperature. 22. The primary source of oil contamination in a normally operating reciprocating engine is combustion deposits due to combustion chamber blow by and oil migration on the cylinder walls. 23. 
Manufacturers normally require turbine engine oil servicing within a short time after engine shutdown primarily to prevent over-servicing. 24. What is the purpose of the last chance oil filters? To filter the oil immediately before it enters the main bearings. 25. The recommended aircraft engine lubricants are mineral or synthetic based. 26. Upon what quality or characteristic of a lubricating oil is its viscosity index base? Its rate of change in viscosity with temperature change. 27. Specific gravity is a comparison of the weight of a substance to the weight of an equal volume of distilled water at a specific temperature. 28. What will happen to the return oil if the oil line between the scavenger pump and the oil cooler separates? The return oil will be pumped overboard. 29. In a reciprocating engine, oil is directed from the pressure relief valve to the inlet side of the pressure pump. 30. In an axial flow turbine engine, compressor bleed air is sometimes used to aid in cooling the turbine, vanes, blades, and bearings. 31. In a reciprocating engine oil system, the temperature bulb senses oil temperature at a point after the oil has passed through the oil cooler. 32. An oil separator is generally associated with which of the following? Engine-driven vacuum pump. 33. What unit in an aircraft engine lubrication system is adjusted to maintain the desired system pressure? Oil pressure relief valve. 34. What type of oil do most engine manufacturers recommend after new reciprocating engine break-in? Ashless dispersant oil. 35. Where is the oil of a dry sump reciprocating engine exposed to the temperature control valve sensing unit? Oil cooler inlet. 36. High tooth pressures and high rubbing velocities, such as occur with spur type gears, require the use of NEP lubricant. 37. Why is an aircraft reciprocating engine oil tank on a dry sump lubrication system equipped with a vent line? To prevent pressure buildup in the oil tank. 38. The oil dampened main bearing utilized in some turbine engines is used to provide an oil film between the outer race and the bearing housing in order to reduce vibration tendencies in the rotor system and to allow for slight misalignment. 39. The pumping capacity of the scavenger pump in a dry sump aircraft engine's lubrication system is greater than the capacity of the oil supply pump. 40. What determines the minimum particle size which will be excluded or filtered by a CUNO type, stack disc, edge filtration filter? The spacer thickness. 41. What type of oil system is usually found on turbine engines? Dry sump, pressure, and spray. 42. Which of the following is a function of the fuel oil heat exchanger on a turbojet engine? Increases fuel temperature. 43. According to Federal Aviation Regulations, oil tank fillers on turbine engines must be marked with the word oil. 44. A drop in oil pressure may be caused by foreign material under the relief valve. 45. Some larger reciprocating engines use a compensating oil pressure relief valve to provide a high engine oil pressure when the oil is cold and automatically lower the oil pressure when the oil warms up. 46. What prevents pressure within the lubricating oil tank from rising above or falling below ambient pressure? Reciprocating engine? Oil tank vent. 47. What is the purpose of the check valve generally used in a dry sump lubrication system? To prevent the oil from the supply tank from seeping into the crankcase during inoperative periods. 48. 
compared to reciprocating engine oils, the types of oils used in turbine engines have less tendency to produce lacquer or coke. 49. What would be the probable result if the oil system pressure relief valve should stick in the open position on a turbine engine? Insufficient lubrication. 50. If a full flow oil filter is used on an aircraft engine, and the filter becomes completely clogged, the bypass valve will open and the oil pump will supply unfiltered oil to the engine. 2. Most gas turbine engine oils are synthetic. Regarding the above statements, only number 2 is true. 51. Oil tank fillers on reciprocating engines are marked with the word oil in accordance with 14 CFR Part 23. 52. The purpose of directing bleed air to the outer turbine case on some engines is to provide optimum turbine blade tip clearance by controlling thermal expansion. 53. The purpose of a dwell chamber in a turbine engine oil tank is to provide separation of entering air from scavenged oil. 54. The viscosity of a liquid is a measure of its resistance to flow. 55. What type of oil do most engine manufacturers recommend for new reciprocating engine break-in? Straight mineral oil. 56. Lube system last chance filters in turbine engines are usually cleaned during overhaul. 57. Possible failure related ferrous metal particles in turbine engine oil cause an electrical indicating type magnetic chip detector to indicate their presence by bridging the gap between the detector center positive electrode and the ground electrode. 58. Excessive oil is prevented from accumulating on the cylinder walls of a reciprocating engine by oil control rings on the pistons. 59. What will be the result of operating an engine in extremely high temperatures using a lubricant recommended by the manufacturer for a much lower temperature? The oil pressure will be lower than normal. 60. The basic oil pressure relief valve setting for a newly overhauled engine is made in the overhaul shop. 61. What will result if an oil filter becomes completely blocked? Oil will flow at the normal rate through the system. 62. In order to maintain a constant oil pressure as the clearances between the moving parts of an engine increase through normal wear, the supply pump output remains relatively constant at a given RPM with less oil being returned to the pump inlet by the relief valve. 63. As an aid to cold weather starting, the oil dilution system thins the oil with gasoline. 64. Which of the following bearing types must be continuously lubricated by pressure oil? Plain. 65. What advantage do mineral-based lubricants have over vegetable oil-based lubricants when used in aircraft engines? Chemical stability. 66. Which type valve prevents oil from entering the main accessory case when the engine is not running? Check. 67. An oil tank having a capacity of 5 gallons must have an expansion space of 2 quarts. 68. What is the source of most of the heat that is absorbed by the lubricating oil in a reciprocating engine? Pistons and cylinder walls. 69. What is the primary purpose of the oil breather pressurization system that is used on turbine engines? Provides a proper oil spray pattern from the main bearing oil jets. 70. A turbine engine dry sump lubrication system of the self-contained, high-pressure design consists of pressure, breather, and scavenge subsystems. 71. The type of oil pumps most commonly used on turbine engines are classified as positive displacement. 72. 
If the oil in the oil cooler core and annular jacket becomes congealed, what unit prevents damage to the cooler? Surge protection valve. 73. If all other requirements can be met, what type of oil should be used to achieve theoretically perfect engine lubrication? The thinnest oil that will stay in place and maintain a reasonable film strength. 74. An engine lubrication system pressure relief valve is usually located between the pump and the internal oil system. 75. In addition to lubricating, reducing friction between moving parts, engine oil performs what functions? 1. Cools. 2. Seals. 3. Cleans. 4. Prevents corrosion. 5. Cushions impact shock loads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 76. What is the primary purpose of the oil to fuel heat exchanger? Cool the oil. 77. Cylinder walls are usually lubricated by splashed or sprayed oil. 78. Under which of the following conditions is the oil cooler flow control valve open on a reciprocating engine? When the temperature of the oil returning from the engine is too low. 79. Which of the following has the greatest effect on the viscosity of lubricating oil? Temperature. 80. From the following, identify the factor that has the least effect on the oil consumption of a specific engine. Mechanical efficiency. 81. How is the oil collected by the piston oil ring returned to the crankcase? Through holes drilled in the piston oil ring groove. 82. Why is expansion space required in an engine oil supply tank? For oil enlargement and collection of foam. 83. The oil used in reciprocating engines has a relatively high viscosity due to large clearances and high operating temperatures. 84. How are the piston pins of most aircraft engines lubricated? By oil which is sprayed or thrown by the master or connecting rods. 85. Oil picks up the most heat from which of the following turbine engine components? Turbine bearing. 86. The vent line connecting the oil supply tank and the engine in some dry sump engine installations permits the oil tank to be vented through the normal engine vent. 87. The purpose of a relief valve installed in the tank venting system of a turbine engine oil tank is to prevent oil pump cavitation by maintaining a constant pressure on the oil pump inlet. 1. Fuel may be used to cool oil and gas turbine engines. 2. Ram air may be used to cool oil and gas turbine engines. Regarding the above statements, both number 1 and number 2 are true. 88. How are the teeth of the gears in the accessory section of an engine normally lubricated? By splashed or sprayed oil. 89. The main oil filters strain the oil at which point in the system? just as it leaves the pressure pump. 90. Why are fixed orifice nozzles used in the lubrication system of gas turbine engines? To provide a relatively constant oil flow to the main bearings at all engine speeds.